What the flip is up, tubers? How we doing? Yeah. I'm bleeding again. I don't know why I'm always bleeding on camera. It was just a hangnail. Please don't be concerned. So today's the day, guys. And it's a very emotional day for all of us. Probably not for you guys. Well, maybe. We're saying goodbye to the cute little blonde moment that I had, which resulted from a mental breakdown last year at the beginning of quarantine. We all remember. It was the first time I was on the trending page. You know what? I'm sad to say goodbye. I'm sad. Blonde was cute. I felt like a baddie. And it was just nice to switch up my look for the first time ever. <laughs> I've always had brown hair, and I've always wanted to know what it was like to have blonde hair, but now I can't take it. I can't fucking do this anymore. I knew that blonde hair would be hard maintenance, and that's why a lot of people are skeptical to go blonde, because it's just a lot of work, but I didn't know it was gonna be like this. I didn't know it was gonna cause so much turmoil inside myself. My hair has been driving me insane. <laughs> Let's get into it. Y'all, what the fuck is going on? Why is she so brassy up here? And it's so annoying. I look crazy right now, but it's so annoying because every time I get my roots touched up and she fixes the brassiness, it comes back in like two weeks. And then I even put purple shampoo up here and it's good for a day, but then it just goes right back to this. If I get my roots retouched again, all of these wispy bangs that I'm trying to grow out, it's just gonna, continue to break off and it's never gonna heal. I'm over having crispy hair. I just miss my brown hair in general. I have a hair appointment on Friday. It's currently Wednesday night. They're gonna take out all of these extension tracks out of my head and then we're gonna go brown and then they're gonna put some new silky brown extensions in my hair. I was thinking about it and I was like, what can I do on my final days of being blonde? I can do anything. Cause I don't know when the fuck I'll be blonde again. So I was thinking in my my final days of blonde land instead of just like waiting anxiously for my salon appointment why not have some fun let's get a little creative let's just see what i can do i want to do a crazy color because i'm blonde already why not get some color conditioner which lasts a week which I'm kind of nervous about. I don't know how that's gonna react to when I dye my hair brown in literally a couple days. I should have contacted my hair lady before making this decision. Cause who knows, maybe she's gonna be like, yeah, I can't put brown dye on her hair with that stuff on top of it cause it won't work. So maybe I'm just completely fucking everything up for me and my finger is bleeding all over all my shit. I have blood on my chin. Should I do like the Joker smile? That's fucking terrifying. We're gonna go big or go home, sweetheart. And yes, we're already home. So might as well just go big anyway, cause who cares? And maybe I'll really like the way that this looks. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm just gonna let the wind take me. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, put this shit on really quick. Then I'm gonna take you guys to the hair salon with me on Friday. And then we're gonna actually go brown. Oh my God, I still, I still have blood on my chin. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. But first, we do have a sponsorship today, ladies. Let's go, give it up. Give it up for Express VPN. Woo woo, <laughs> I know I look kind of crazy, but I just don't want you guys to see my hair. Bear with me. I think it kind of looks cool. Why does this kind of look cool? Anyway, thank you so much ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Without a VPN, your data is like a postcard that could be seen by intruders before it gets to your final destination. With ExpressVPN, your data is encrypted and sent through a secure tunnel, similar to putting your postcard in the most secure envelope. And this is why I use ExpressVPN. I want my private information to remain private. You know, and I'm sure you guys do too. And luckily, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. All you need to do is open it up and click connect to connect. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN 
for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash sarabasco. Or you can just scroll down and click the little link in the description. But that's not all. ExpressVPN also gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. You would be surprised how much content is out there floating around and you don't even know it yet. All the pieces of content that you can unlock on different streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime just by switching the country that you're from in ExpressVPN. I've been getting back into Modern Family recently, but I can only watch it on Canada Netflix. <laughs> So I have to connect to Canada. It's worth it because it's easy. And that's a whole nother reason why I love using ExpressVPN. So make sure that your privacy is protected and go ahead and unlock some crazy and new content while you're at it because you can with using ExpressVPN. That kind of rhymed. Um, click the link below. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring the video and let's get back into my hair journey. Also, I figured out how to fix my shower door. If y'all watched my last video, you would understand. All y'all thought that my bathroom was haunted too. I think it looked even creepier because everyone was saying like, this footage is so terrifying. Because it, it was terrifying, but this did not help. <laughs> like the lighting in my bathroom with just these lights did not help the creepy aesthetic. So I'm gonna shower with the lights on. And then I have to put like a small little shampoo bottle in between my doors. I won't feel like I have to get in the boxing ring with a piece of glass every time I shower, um, which is nice because it takes a lot of stress off of me when I'm just trying to have a relaxing bathe. So this is what's working for now before I actually have the balls to call my maintenance guy. I just kind of forget to. I just, I'm like, I'll just fucking DIY this. Do I need to have a random man come into my bathroom? Yeah, I definitely need to, but do I want a random man to come into my bathroom? My most vulnerable space? Not necessarily. I think I accidentally picked out the wrong color because it looks like a dark orange, but maybe it won't, I don't know. It says rose gold, but it looks like a burnt orange. It looks like ketchup or blood. Oh my God. Yeah, hop in the shower. It's that time of the hour When I'm hopping in the shower Yeah, yeah I'm dying my hair pink I don't even really got time to think No, no, my blonde will be extinct Might as well pour up a drink and cheers to that Water rolling down my back So scared that the color's whack I cannot reverse this, take it back Might as well just try to relax I'm so done with the blonde hair Done with the blonde hair I don't even fucking care like ketchup so i hope it looks real nice and it better not be streaky and i better not have stripes and i don't know what i'm doing so i don't give advice and i hope my hair lady does not punch me in me fucking vice pretty in the shower while I was lathering it in. Ooh, I really liked it because it wasn't an intense pink. It was just very subtle. And if you put it on more and more, every time you shower, it just gets more pigmented. But I kind of like that it's not that pigmented. It's very like a subtle pink. I think that that's what my problem was all along. Like I really needed a light toner pink to kind of make the yellowness go away so it wasn't so blonde. I think that this is like exactly what I needed to do this entire time to make myself feel better about my hair. I'm kind of hoping that I hate it because I can't cancel on my hair lady since my appointment is so soon. It's just kind of fucked up to do that. But I think I'm gonna like it. It's gonna be like a pretty pastel silvery moment. I'm gonna dry my hair and I will show you guys what it looks like. Mm, 
really hope I hate it. This is the first time that I hope that I hate my hair ever, ever. So I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is my hair lady did not rip my nose off. She was a little confused why I did that two days before, but she said that she can work with it and she was very understanding. She didn't want to beat me up, so that's good. Bad news is this is me remembering two days later that I forgot to show you guys. And here's my hair lady not ripping my nose off. Like what? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hey guys, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to film my hair. Well, this is what it looks like, and I'm getting it done today. <laughs> We're completely changing it. So yeah, thanks guys, these guys are the best. <laughs> the last time that y'all saw me, I was about to do my hair pink, correct? Guess what? It was like kind of pink. Not really, but I liked that. All of the problems that I was having with my hair was fixed just by doing that. I think I just got one comment on one of my YouTube videos saying like, yes, serving Hannah Montana. I read that and I was like, oh yeah, kind of do look like Hannah Montana. As like a 23 year old, I guess, who's just like a YouTuber now. <laughs> That's okay. How is this lighting on me right now? What is that Casey Musgrave song? Oh, my golden hour. Wow, that's the only lyric I know. I love that album. Oh my God, okay, this sun is so intense. Why don't I have sunglasses on? I don't know. Oh my God, why was I looking directly in the sun? Ooh, she just hit a fat vape cloud. That was so, oh my God, she's still going. How many can you do? Can you do another one? Yeah, she can. Holy shit. Actually, those clouds are so large. How are you not just doming into a different dimension? She had the actual, <laughs> it looks like a weapon, you know those? Very intense and it's heavy, and it's girthy. There's like a little nozzle. It's kind of, it's very, that's when you know you're in deep. She hit that shit three times and that's just when I looked over. Who knows how many times she was hitting that before I looked, but. <laughs> Whenever you just start doming from the magazine pen just singing the Alley and Angie song. Into the rush now. Like head rush. Into the rush now, you don't even know how. God, anyway, so I actually liked the slight pink in my hair, but I'm, a, I'm an idiot and I didn't show you guys it. Because right when I blow dried it and like did my makeup cute and was ready, I recorded a pop song with my friend. White claw and a wine glass, where you at? Nice lips, cute face, and a fat ass. I'm talking about myself, what about that? You can come over here and enjoy that. At first it was a joke, and then when we just keep going, juices boiling, gets you inspired, we're gonna release it. That was just so much fun. It's actually such a good song. And I mixed the vocals, it took me so long. Anyway, so I'm just tired of damaging my hair, you know what I'm saying? I just hate to see my hair scream at me every time I burn her to death. You're just trying to live on my head and just grow and <laughs> vibe out with the other follicles. Stripping away all of its flavor and color and soul. <laughs> it was weird. I had a hair appointment this morning. She says, what do you, what do you want to do today? <sighs> and being a indecisive human, if y'all watched Life is Strange, you would know that. I think Life is Strange helped me with that. Like knowing that it's okay to like not know sometimes and it's okay to fuck up, eh, whatever. It's okay to accidentally kill your little brother. No, he killed me! That bitch killed me! I didn't kill him! Oh, now just thinking about it makes me mad because I still feel that guilt where I like think that I killed him and I did kill him, I killed him inside. killed him inside. But we're not gonna talk about Life is Strange and how I completely fucked up that game. Oh, I hope they make a new one. I'm itching for it. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, making decisions. So she asked me, she put me in the hot seat. She's like, what do you wanna do? And I was like, uh, brown? Brunette? She's like, okay, but like what kind of brown hair? And I was like, I don't know, medium? Like, what? And then I went on Google and I saw this one picture and this girl had really pretty brown chocolatey hair, but it had like a dash of burgundy. And she was like, oh my God, yeah, totes. First of all, they had to take out my extensions and their little beads. So she took them out and where did my hair go? 
My hair was so thin. Bruh. It's the downside of having those extensions because I guess they're pretty damaging. I'm not a fucking chia pet. You can't pour water and seeds in me and make my hair grow. I wish. I was like looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, who is this? Blonde mullet with angel pasta hair. Not even, like thinner than that. Ugh. Anyway, long story fucking short. She rinses it out and I'm really excited because I haven't had brown hair in a year. And my hair was very red. It was brown, but very, very burgundy. It's not like Cat Valentine vibes. It's like kind of Chucky. Why can't I think of anyone else on the top of my head with this hair color? It's just like kind of orange. It's like a mixture of things. I'll just fucking show y'all because the sun is setting anyway and I'm almost at the place. So yeah, this is it. I didn't want to... <sighs> this lighting makes it look fine. And it's fine. Horrible timing to film a hair reveal video. Oh, you can guys see it. Um, it wasn't her that did anything wrong. The hairdresser didn't do anything wrong. She did exactly what I told her to do. She did do a splash of burgundy over brown dye, over almost bleach blonde hair, which I didn't realize in the moment. It's not gonna be completely brown and milky and silky and back to normal after the first time you dye it, after bleaching it for an entire year. And I was just confused because there's still like blonde and like golden moments towards the top and that's my problem area. I hate, no, I don't hate, I don't hate. I dislike my crown area lately because crown area is what switches up on me the most. And so when I saw it kind of like creeping up in my crown this morning, I was like, damn. She just doesn't want to let me go. She just did not want to see me transition into my better self. I was like trying to keep it cool because I'm like, this isn't what I wanted. But I don't know if like this is what I needed. <laughs> you know, it's like, is this a, is this a process? And so I was like, haha, yeah, this is cool. Um, kind of wanted to be a little bit more on the brown side though. Kind of wanted to be a little bit more brunette than this. No shade. Was this a communication issue? Was I being clear enough? I kind of had a meltdown for a second, just for like 10 minutes. I just needed like 10 minutes to really be upset about it because I had a vision in my head of how I was gonna walk out and it didn't happen. Bruh. 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 By little meltdown, I mean I came home and cried to my roommate about it. She cheered me up a little bit, but then I called my hair lady again because I'm trying to be more assertive. And I was like, hey, I know that dyeing hair back to brown is a process and I know this is only the first stage, but I really don't like it. And then she's like, oh my God, come back in tonight. I'll put extensions in you and I'll see what I can do to fix the color. So I was like, huh? Thanks. Call me dramatic, but that's not what I wanted, you know? So yeah, it sucks, but that's just the process of hair, apparently. I'm no expert. Now I'm on my way back because she's installing inst extensions. I'm, I'm doing the extensions thing. Maybe some extensions will help. I'm here and my battery's actually about to die. Wish me luck. Bye, love you guys so much. y'all are ready for this hair transformation you guys are about to lose your freaking minds no this isn't a ball sack this is just my hand don't worry put your hands together for the new the improved the sexy <laughs> the smooth Ooh. Sarah Braska you love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low make you sit right here now you can't go back
so happy. I'm so happy. I don't think I've ever gone this dark before. I feel confident. I feel like a bad bitch. I feel so much better. It's stupid how good I feel right now. It's not stupid, it's awesome. I got my earrings in. Who is she right now? I feel like this is my true self. This is like, ah. Uh. The blonde was cute, it like, it was like bright. It made me like, ah. But this, she's mysterious. She's been through some shit last year. I have the clips in right here just cause I haven't washed my hair in a few days. I did this a few days ago, but I didn't want to wash my hair because my extensions are so silky still. If y'all have ever gotten extensions before, you know that right when you get them, they will never be this silky again. And I just wanted you guys to see it in this state, but because I didn't wash my hair, my hair is kind of greasy on top. So I'm gonna take the clips out just so you guys can really see. And y'all, the fringe. Remember how I hated my mullet and I hated these pieces? This is such a look now. I'm pretty sure she just put toner in my hair. I don't really know. I'm just really happy what she did the second time. And then she put the extensions in, they're like little beads. My hair is probably gonna be very thin, but I just want her to feel cute. And I feel so cute, God damn it, I feel so cute. Now I don't have to worry about my roots coming in. The second time that I came back that night, she was able to get all of the pink stuff out. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. She's a magician. Hairdressers are magicians. I don't know how she knew exactly how to get my hair the same color as my extensions, but she did that shit. I'm just so excited to live this dark brown fantasy. I hope you guys like my new hair, because I really love it. I think it's a vibe. Yay, I'm so happy. Okay, I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. Um. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.